Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be my sort of end of 2021 shoe collection. My collection has changed a little bit over the past year. I've added some things. I've gotten rid of some things. There were some things I got rid of just because the style didn't really speak to me anymore. And then there were some things that I got rid of because they no longer really fit after pregnancy. I'm gonna break it down by the different types of shoes in my collection, but in that I'm gonna go through which ones I wear most often and which I wear least often. I'm not including athletic shoes in here, but honestly, the only ones I'm really wearing are my Allbirds sneakers. And I have a video about that, which I'll link down below, but those are in a different location of the house. So I'm not gonna be going through that, nor am I gonna be going through like my winter boots, um, which are not particularly exciting either. <laughs> so that's, that's what's not included, but otherwise this is my shoe collection and it's not huge. I used to have a much larger one, but I am really pleased with it. And these are mostly shoes that I get quite a bit of wear out of. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are generally going to start out with least to most used. And this pair of Stuart Weitzman with the studs, as well as the following pair of shoes are ones that I think I'm going to sell. I just never wear them. Now, these ones might be a little bit shocking because they are my Prada pumps that used to be my absolute favorite pair of shoes but I really haven't worn them and I don't think they are going to stay, unfortunately. Another pair of shoes that get pretty much no wear, uh, actually no wear at all, but I'm not going to get rid of are these, which were my wedding shoes, these vintage Stuart Weitzman lacy pumps. Now these Prada pumps, I love. They don't get a lot of wear because I just don't wear enough special occasion shoes, but that heel is so gorgeous and I love the gold. Next are these Gian Vito Rossi pumps in this deep plum colored, very dark burgundy. I do really like these. I like the suede. I think they're comfortable. I just don't tend to wear them as much as some of my other pumps. So we're heading back to the sparkle with these silver and then they have this kind of gold in some light gunmetal lame pump from the Sarah Flint Perfect Pump 85 collection, which I have quite a few of. That's my newest addition. And then my next least worn are these taupe ones. The navy ones do get a little bit more wear in my collection. As you can see, I just absolutely love these. I do, I do really like the navy. It is a similar color to the next one, which is black. You can see from the far away shot, the try on shot, they can be a little hard to distinguish, but I do really like having both in my collection. And then these white ones have been the surprise. They've gotten the most wear for me and I love them. Now we're moving on to my ally heels. So these are my newest shoe to my collection. So I haven't really worn them much, but they're the short block heel. Then I have the ankle straps and I have these in two different colors as you'll see. I wanted to show you that you can wear them with the strap or you can wear them without the strap and I love the versatility of them. I do wear the pink a little bit more. Then we have the full height block heel and I've been wearing these a ton in the black. They're super comfortable. And then my most worn without a doubt are my nude classic pumps. We are moving into flats. So these Sarah Flint mules, I don't wear much, but my Rothy's I wear a ton. So I have been wearing the red. I certainly wear the navy, though I would say I wear the, the red a little bit less. Then the light pink get quite a bit of wear, especially in the summertime. And then without a doubt, the black get the most wear. And I pretty much wear one of these pairs of the points every day to commute or just as casual shoes. Now we're starting sandals. I will be honest, I don't love these old version of Sarah Flint shoes, nor do I love these Stuart Weitzman shoes. I don't wear either of these very much. For sandals, I do tend to wear the these wedges that I've had for years and really love from LK Bennett. Those are a fun addition. And then what I've worn the most this year were these Rothy slides. I'm really glad I added them to my collection. Potentially want to change up my sandals a little bit in the future. Now boots, these are the newest to my collection. They're the Sarah Flint Perfect Dress Booty. I love the scallop detail and they're super, super comfortable. Really happy about these. The next version are also gonna be Sarah Flint. I've worn these more, of course, cause I had them all of last year, but these are the Perfect Zip Booty and I think that they are probably the most comfortable ankle boot, especially heeled ankle boot that I've ever worn. I really, really love these. They're really nice. So these knee solo Dari boots get quite a bit of wear for me. I really like the color. They tend to go really well with pretty much all my fall neutrals. And then my most worn pair of ankle boots are the Rothy's Merino ankle booty. And I pretty much wear these every time I don't wear the points. When it's just a little cold, I absolutely love them. 
These are my tall boots now. So my least worn of these are these Sarah Flint riding boots. Uh, they're a little less my style and a little less my color, but I do think they're a classic boot to have in your collection. And on to the last two pairs of boots. So both of these are my Stuart Weitzman boots. One is the 50-50 and then one is the Lowland. The black Lowland I didn't wear quite as much just because my legs were a little bigger last year. But I, in general, I do wear those more than the 50-50. I do like the beige 50-50 color though. That's a nice addition to have. That is it. All the information for the shoes, especially those that are available and any kind of discount codes will be listed down below. If you have any questions about any of these, please do let me know. I love shoes and I love talking about shoes and I love wearing shoes at least when they're comfortable. And yeah, my taste has changed. There's really very few pieces and very few brands that I'm interested in anymore. You can obviously see which ones are my favorites, but I do feel like my collection is still sophisticated and classic yet also simple and timeless and practical practical and comfortable so i am really pleased with it i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you in a future video bye